For years I've been seeing you in my dreams, and lately more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health, just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention, and with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know, you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers, preachers, and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. But if not, remember that in the end, we will find a way to help you. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have. Ligia. Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Yes, thank you. You're not looking your best. Thank you. What's your message? Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. And payment? On receipt. Anything to add at the end? Please add my love to you, my sister. Touching. From whom? My name is Viktor Shulski. S-Z-U-L-S-K-I. And Victor with a W, not a V. Interesting name. Where's this headed? Warsaw. Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere. On every map. Maps change. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. Pardon? I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Looney. Hello. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery. That's all. A horse can't go any higher. The village is what interests me. 
Well, if you've got reason to be there, climb in. I'd be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. Nothing to see around here. Ah, this is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there, past the little square, up the steps. They'll tell you where the preacher's at. Or this time of day, he'll be there himself. Thank you. Gentlemen, is this the tavern here? Hey, Putnik. You coming from far? Indeed, I'm tired. Nice boots. Are they warm? Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. And sooner or later, these might kick their arses. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. I got to sort out formalities with this tourist. Is your snummy? We are the Tsar soldiers. Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. The Ruskies right. They won't report us. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them. Good boy. Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for you for a very long time and... And you expected a thinking simpleton. An illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings. Even hopeless cases. Inexplicable ones. And what do you believe in? If you help me, I'll believe all of it. And please believe me when I say I've tried everything short of a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? I first learned of you in Paris. A charismatic miracle worker from Russia. I even heard about you from my doctors. By the time I got to Petersburg, you were already gone. I've crossed almost three continents, through Siberia, India, and half of Europe. But if you're asking me about my origins, I'm from Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulski. On my path, I've already come across people who've lied to me about their problems, and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, others arrived, with pitchforks and torches, and 
I had to endure insults and spit in my face, or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Forgive my amusement, I haven't had my first coffee yet. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. What would you like me to do, sir? I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I'll use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. I'll return to you in a moment. I can hardly wait. Let's take a look around. Who would have thought there were such layers of passion within him? What have you learned, wizard? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, you left behind a very devoted and very young lady-in-waiting. At least one, my friend. Have a seat. Tell me again, why were you looking for me? A few years ago I attempted to catch a wild salutor, and that ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind... I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. I've got money, if that's what matters. Give it to the needy. Your riches mean nothing to me. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me Where? Where am I? Rasputin. There's no one in here. I need to get out of here. What is this sound? Shackles? Blind.
You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. Do you hear me? Do you? Do you? I can see, Father. Clearly. Will you be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. Where's Rasputin? <laughs> In the cemetery, chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? <sighs> yes, yes. Absolutely. <sighs> I wanted to sweep. I'm just heading out. It's so good to see you again. And something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? I was praying. I wanted to sweep. What? They'll go gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just. Vesna will bring it, Vesna will help, but if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. Hmm. That's not yours, don't touch! All these newcomers causing more problems. Excuse me. I need to get to the local cemetery. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery. It's not like anyone there is going to run away. And look, my horse is more dead than alive. I'll be right back. Sensing. Am I sensing? So that's how you want to play. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. 
telling you, go away or I'll call for help. Help! Help! Somebody help me! What are you doing here, you tramp? I'm not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right. You could say that, sure. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please leave. Please, please. Over my dead body. I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much, and he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away, you're attracting gawkers. Not gawkers, a witness. And let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir, this liar and thief here stole a memento of my mother. And this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too? Because you strangled mine. And what do I care about some trinkets your mother left you? Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? Why don't you relax and listen to the words of a wise woman? Well, all in all, it's... I'm sorry, Bogdan. Come inside, and tell me what you're doing here. The villagers seem to have a certain respect for you, ma'am, so I wanted to ask your help with something. I'm not getting any younger, boy. Talk before I drop dead. A lot of people benefit from your wisdom. They're superstitious and timid, as far as I've been able to figure out. Easy to control, right? Pot calling kettle. That, my boy, that you can ask that charlatan with fancy dress and beard. Who takes advantage of who here? Bah! The people here are believers, of course. But the spirit in the village is real, too. Do you mean Rasputin? <laughs> he didn't bring that evil spirit here. He draws on the spirit because he got folk to heal. But it's not him who brought it. We brought it on our own heads. And we've got to deal with it ourselves. I heard it howling. That's nothing human. One evil spirit here persecutes people, and you can hear it now and then, sometimes. Tragedies attract it, and impure thoughts. 
We here call it a Bukovac. But other places probably call it other things. An evil spirit's an evil spirit. It torments people and turns their weaknesses against them. And what if I told you I could get rid of it? I'd say I'll believe it when I see it. And I'd ask, how else can I help you? Well then, I hope you'll still be alive when I get back, madam. You've been going in so many circles, your head... I'm not going anywhere. Maybe you'll change your mind and drop me off at the cemetery after all. Well, on the other hand, this place isn't much more exciting than the cemetery, and I meant to take the horse out for a ride, so get on. You're alive. Does that mean I helped, Thamaturj? When I heard you were at the cemetery, I was sure I'd see you resurrecting the dead. Not yet. Today I'm just praying for rest for Vasily's soul. He cursed this place. Since he died, darkness and misfortune have hung over the village. You see? To them, every harm comes down to witchcraft. They believe that after Vasily's passing, the village was possessed by some monster that howls at night or some other yuffiets. What changed in the village after the Elder died? It's all dreadful, sir. Everything's gone topsy-turvy. When folks get to arguing now, they're so hot-headed. Before you know it, they're at one another's throats. Ladies have no patience for kids, nor lads for ladies, nor neighbors for neighbors. Any word might seem offensive and like an insult waiting to happen. Then you've got to fight. Tragedies such as Vasily's death leave their mark on everyone. It takes time to come to terms with something like this. That doesn't mean this place is possessed by dark forces. As you were healing me, I had a dream, a vision. But on the borderline of sleep and wakefulness, I thought I saw a salutor. They're good people, but none too bright, Victor. I'm afraid they might be talking about a train. The wise woman was saying the evil spirit is a book of hatch. Does the creature hunting you rattle chains, slither around and have a mouth full of giant fangs? A book of hatch. Where did this elder live? I'll show you. Let's allow Vasily's soul to rest for today. Amen. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery.
What do you expect to find in this place? The fire was almost a year ago. Yeah. Time doesn't matter much here. I'm looking for clues and personal traces that will lead me to whoever's carrying the floor that lured the Salutar here. I see. I thought I could be helpful to you, but... I don't really understand what you're telling me. Above all, flaws are deeply hidden marks left on human souls. They form under the influence of tragic events. What does that have to do with salutors? Is that Latin? Yes, from the word newcomer. People have always taken salutors to be spirits, demons, or imps. Like from those fairy tales, the wise woman and the other old crones tell the locals. Sometimes. Those sorts of fairy tales and legends describe how humans perceive a salutor. They don't take a physical form. Salutors are attracted to the flaws hidden within people. Thaumaturges discover these flaws inside someone, bring them to the surface, and adopt them to lure the salutor. Those are the moments when I visually failed. I haven't been able to hold on to a salutor. I didn't know how to bind one to myself. What about you? Do you have a flaw? I bear the flaw of pride. I wouldn't have guessed. And now? Thanks to your help, I can once again discover people's flaws and the salutors hiding behind them. And I think I'm now able to catch my second salutor. People always leave behind individual bits of their personality, even on everyday objects and such. I can decipher the thoughts and actions imprinted on these objects, and then match them to their owner. This lets me gather immense knowledge about a person, especially if I need to find someone. What else can you do? If I do manage to catch another Sadita, that would be a very rare occurrence in fact. An ordinary Thaumaturge wouldn't even try it more than once. Only a few have multiple salutars. Why? Because they're afraid. Like the ones who claimed humans wouldn't learn to fly or even reach the pole. But the failure of others doesn't mean those people are right. It means a mistake was made somewhere. Isn't this exactly the sort of thinking that caused your problems that led you to me? That doesn't matter anymore. Then what's changed? This time, I've got you with me. Why did you want to come here with me? I have never gotten to know a Thaumaturge so closely. I'd like to learn as much as possible about your abilities. I need to look around this place a little more. I won't stop you. I felt something. <sighs> True fear. This house was always full of fear, and its owner was still alive when the house got fire. Someone wanted to kill him. The fire only covered up the crime. The murder gave birth to the floor that you attached to, didn't it? I'll find you when I track down the murderer. I know who owns this doll. Maybe I should give them back to her. She ought to know more about what happened here. Victor! I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge. Because I think it's time to get out of here. Why the hurry, father? We're the Tsar's men. 
How about the donation for the Tsar's army? There are no Russian outposts here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. You're the guy who trashed our comrades? I can do exactly the same to all of you. He's not as weak as he looks. He actually looks better than he did the other day. But not counting the priest. He's still alone. Not anymore, I'm not. Salutors also help you in a fight? Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Generally speaking, yes. Are you sure you're right, sir? Call me Grigori. Let's head back. I have to visit someone in the village who can tell me more about what happened here. Traces of themselves at Vasily's burned out farmstead. Lucas says Haley loves his wife. You think he loves her strongly enough to kill for her? You're right. It'd be better to ask Vesna about that. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please. Oh, we didn't invite any guests over. Please open the door. I'd like to have a chat about your husband. You'd better not be here when he gets back. He's not as talkative or polite as I am. I know you're scared, but please just open the door a crack and let me ask one quick question. Please, don't be afraid. I just need to know where I can find your husband. He's chopping wood in the clearing by the forest. Again. This time, it's a matter of life and death. How is your search going? Almost finished. I know who's attracting the Bukavach. Can you reveal that secret? It's Luca. It has to be Luca. 
Do you still want to catch that Salutor? Yes, absolutely. Despite the risk? I hope I can persuade you to come with me. That's an enormous favor you're asking me. I hope you'll be able to return it. I give my word. Did you hear? We're going to see Luca Bogosian. I'm not here to fight. Luca! You shouldn't have threatened my wife. Why did you do this? I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one who brought the Salitor here. The spirit that you all say arrived in the village after Vasily's death. The Salitor is what's making fear consume you all and making you hot-headed. And it's because of your flaw which has been within you since the murder took place. A murder might just be about to take place. Cut off his head. What? Tear off his head before he opens his mouth again! Unless... You're the one that killed him. And I'd do it again if I could! Get out of here! Here you are, Bukava. Vesna's flaw is mine, and you are mine.
going crazy again, you blind fool. A little faith, Thaumaturge. Focus on what's true. My voice is true. I am the truth, you see. Look. Unbelievable. How do you feel? Are you alright? Well, I don't think I'm hallucinating, but that means I'm currently facing a crowd of furious lumberjacks with axes, so I'd say I've been better. What? What? I'm telling the truth. I'd do it again. None of you understand anything. It's because of this magician. It's his fault. The magician didn't kill Vasily. He didn't bring the evil here. You're a witch! To the stake with her! To the stake! And you, why are you just standing there? Are you just letting them do this? Fine, I'll handle it myself. I did it before and I can do it now. What, what have you done? No, you don't need to see this. <sighs> Nothing has to be decided at the moment. Certainly not things that can't be undone. Well, exactly. Beat it, you scoundrels. There's enough blood in this village already. Sharing a village with murderers? You were the first to spill blood! It's not the same. If that's the case, you're banished from the village. Get out of here! We'll burn away the impurity you left in our village. Pfft. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know when the train arrives? The postmaster said it's usually no more than an hour late, so it... Uh, pardon? Will this train get me close to Albuquerque? I'm afraid that's an ocean away, and even to the ocean you've got a ways to go. Thank you. Ever since I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, I can't get my bearings. I wanted to send two telegrams, one to Warsaw and one to Paris. Mr. Shulsky, I was meant to send for you when the driver came to get the mail. My condolences about your father. Do you still want to send something? <sighs> Did you come to say goodbye to me? More like to share my fear. Your condition yesterday, after the fight with that Bukovac. He troubled me. I don't think my treatments are having a long-lasting effect. And you don't look the best. Do you feel all right? I've just heard that my father is dead. My condolences. After your treatment, when I was hallucinating, I saw him. I heard his voice for the first time in years. I'm sure it was him. A strange feeling. Maybe he came to say goodbye. Maybe it was his last chance to speak to you. A prophecy. I hope not. 
What do you intend to do now? I have to bury my father in Warsaw. Hmm. What about you? Thanks to you, I don't think I have anything else to do here. I had a little time to think about what I saw in your mind. Tell me, Victor. Have you ever seen a human skull cracked open on the cobblestones? I haven't. I have. The skull of Franz Ferdinand himself, with his brain spilling out onto the sidewalk. I also saw the white steps in Odessa running with blood. A battlefield blanketed in lethal fog, with faceless beings emerging from it. This hasn't happened yet, but I saw it as clearly as I see you now. Thanks to you, I know that I can stop it. I know that I am part of history, and I can change it. Even at the cost of scorn, contempt, or my life. You promised me a favor, so Warsaw sounds perfect. Warszawa! Warszaw! Warsaw! Last stop, Warsaw. Time to wake up. It's clouding over. The weather is like my mood. Aside from the circumstances of the funeral bringing you back, you hadn't thought of ever returning here? The only person I consider close is my sister. But Varsovians? Let's see. Workers are striking. They want to take advantage of the Tsar's visit to Orso. The protests are being violently suppressed. Last week, around a dozen people were killed. Polish Socialist Party militants attacked a train. They stole money, bonds, and explosive materials. They're also suspected of robbing a transport of Dutch bombing. The socialist in Warsaw must look pretty sharp then. Further along, we've got murders, muggings, and poverty. The newspapers feed on sensation. Remember that in darkness, even a small spark can be seen clearly. Even I can feel hope from all the people riding with us, can't you? Even without my powers, I can tell that hope is bringing people here from all three partitions. Miners, steelworkers, governesses, maids, speculators, thieves. I've gotten to read a few of our fellow passengers' possessions, and I know that hope can have many faces. Will you share that knowledge with me? There's a terrified woman riding with us. She's either running away or in hiding. I think that gentleman is smuggling something, because excitement is all mixed up with guilt inside him. And this dandy, he's going whoring. If there's something I've learned in life, Victor, it's never to neglect the whores. 
Warsaw, and of the line. Welcome to Warsaw. I think the time's come to ask where you plan to stay. I'll let you know when I come up with something. Why such a crowd? The circus has come to town. These are troubled times. Brothers turn against brothers. Russia has had enough bloodshed. The violence must stop. When socialists attempt to divide Russia and her subject nations, to dent the sword that smote the enemy at Grunwald, this demands my decisive action. Thus, by my grace, I hereby appoint as Governor General of Warsaw Georgi Antonovich Skawon. A butcher. Not a popular guy, I presume. I see you ain't from here. Swine keeps a photo album of all the folks he's had shot at the Citadel. Before and after execution. Warsaw! The time for leniency and indulgence is over! From the moment this office is bestowed on me, no forces hostile to the subjects of Greater Russia will have any further right to exist! None! Whether it be brutal socialist subversives, communists, Jews, or other satanic provocators! He sure knows how to unite a crowd. Pardon me, are you Polish? I was born in Warsaw, but I'm lapsed. My name's Victor. Wanda. This is Russia here! Like it or not! Warszawa! Premia terrora! Zakończyłeś! Idy na chuj! My first decision as Governor General of Warsaw... Arrestować. Great heroes in their sense of timing. Of course, now they're the first ones in the fight. Samo bladanie, Polyaki. We want that rebel. The Lountmount. Damn. What happened? Be a gentleman. Please kneel and tie my shoe. That seems more like a job for the servants, young lady. Go ahead. Look down. Can 
I ask you a tiny favor? The Russians can't find out about this. The military is just looking for an excuse to suppress the crowd, and these workers are dreaming of thrashing a Russian gendarme. Either one of you confesses to disturbing the peace, or of CX Zabirai. We'll take you all in. You can't handle all of us. Can you get us out of here? I think I'm open to any kind of suggestion. With a book like that, I'd find out what would convince one of these bastards to let us go. Or I'd take on that self-appointed leader of the proletariat. Interesting strategy. Who are you, really? A damsel in distress. Those don't usually hide ammunition in their stockings. Can I explain it to you another time? I'm going to take a look around. Pardon me, gentlemen. The crowd has received the order. For now, zero response. We'll give them a moment. To arrest them all, book them, interrogate them. Gospody will be home in November. Gentlemen, please forgive me. Maybe there's a faster way to get this situation resolved. Back off, Polyak, or we'll start shooting. Paniatno, Scrum, Dovoy. Sergeant, I didn't want to do this, but my name is Viktor Shulski. Shulski or Smolski, I don't care. We'll make an example of you for the rest of these bastards. Name? Shulski. Victor. One of those Shulskis? Yes. My condolences. Now, profile. Thank you. What you pissing in the bucket for, asshole? Where else am I supposed to? 
Brown in the bucket, whiz on the wall. You better remember that too. That bucket's gonna last you guys till tomorrow. Can I use the phone? I wouldn't call you a master strategist. You got away from the station, so theoretically, we achieved our goal. You're not losing your sense of humor. I guess this isn't your first time in a place like this, is it? I spent a little time on the Rue de la Raquette in Paris. It got demolished five years ago. Oui. What about you? You seem to know your way around this setting. You been here often? I'll take that as a compliment. And sure, sometimes, if the cause demands it. What cause? Let's say I know certain folks who'd find poles like you useful. Dealers in stolen Dutch pomade? Donut connoisseurs. They met at Burke Rotblitz's cafe. I don't want to jinx it, but do you spend time there too? If I'm not there, no one will want to talk to you. And don't worry, I don't usually hang out long in places like this. Shulsky! I see you won't be hanging out here long either. What are you staring at, Genef? I don't know what that means. Quit squealing. First time in the big city? What did they put such a swell in jail for? I showed a couple of Russian soldiers when I think about the petitions. I have moments like that sometimes. And I gave it to some Ruskies in the kisser, too. There's this red-bearded fella sitting there. I glassed him in the face, then kicked him in the bean, and wham! On the floor. And I pinched his billfold, too. Did anybody ask you? Shut your damn trap. Well, are you from somebody? First of all, I am a thaumaturge. Now them, I got respect for. I know one really decent Jew from Povishla, who's a wizard too. How about you? You got a foreskin or what? Is my foreskin any of your fucking business? Well, no. I, I was just... Schmuck. But you don't look like much of a Warsaw lad. You should not judge a book by its cover. A tough guy, like a real Warsaw lad. I was born here, now I've come home. Welcome to Warsaw. Sholsky, this yours? That's right. Then take it and get out of here. Thank you.
I'm sure you don't remember me. My name's Hayat, Mordechai Hayat. Thank you. Please, forgive my prying. I know Mr. Shulsky took nitroglycerin for his heart, but how did he pass away? Was that his cause of death? His heart? We've ruled out any coronary causes since the doctors couldn't confirm whether the deceased had a heart. Yes, I, I understand. My condolences, once again. I'll leave you alone. I'm sure you want to bid farewell to your father. I think I ought to arrest you, Taumaturge. Uh, uh, uh. Put your hands down. Someone might see. You still haven't figured out who I am? Don't be surprised. Uncle Veronian? I will not keep you. That guy's probably all alone back there. Among those vultures circling Stasio. I'm sure she'll be glad to see you. Go on. We'll talk later. Sister? Victor. I'm so glad you came. I wasn't sure if my telegram had reached you. I'm glad to. How are you holding up? All oh, this caught me off guard, but... For now, I don't have time to think things through calmly. Look at yourself. What happened? Have you written to Mother? Yes, but... What can you expect? You know what Nadia is like. It was never her style to show up for family events like this. It's getting late. And we've still got the reading of Papa's will ahead of us at home. And I'll leave you two alone. I suppose you've got your own matters to clear up. Fine. Let's get this over with. So, it was me who got it right in the end. Back then, on the train platform, was the last time we saw one another. Fifteen years ago. Farewell, father. Am I intruding? I was reflecting at the grave of my beloved father. You tricked me. I heard something else. Stanislav and I were acquainted. You might say I knew everything about your father. Your absence from Warsaw has happily come to an end, I hope. With all due respect, this is my personal business. It was my father who knew you, not me. True. Please forgive me. I meant no harm. Again, my condolences. I didn't catch your name. My name's Konechkin. Ivan Konechkin. Goodbye. Such interesting friends you had. I guess I'm more tired than I thought. Great grandmother Josefina, a thaumaturge. Grandpa and you call them.
We can go. The hardest thing was getting the lid of the urn. The scattering I could handle. You can play the clown, but I know how much this has cost you. I'm glad you went. Love at a funeral? Eros postmortem? Is it suitable for a young lady in mourning to fraternize with bachelors? Constantia Shabowska, the Warsaw Courier. Could I ask for a brief comment? Faina. Thank you. And you, sir? I suggest you leave. Otherwise, I'll overlook your womanhood and make sure you can never pronounce a single syllable correctly again. You'd permit that to happen, Judge? Maybe I should write about this. And who would let you print it? Someday the press will get the Russian boot off its neck, Judge. I'm afraid none of us will live to see the day, my dear. Come on, children. I'm sure my Pietia is already waiting for us at home. I'd love to see my cousin. Are you coming with us? Thanks. Get in. I'm sure the lawyer is already waiting for us. Miss, your guests have arrived. The lawyer's upstairs too, waiting. But try for jittery. Wonder if the tea I made him was too strong. Thank you, Grazina, dear. Let the guests wait. First I want to take care of the will. I'll just wet my whistle and join you all upstairs. Make sure Uncle makes it upstairs sober. And I'll suggest you don't dawdle either. Master Victor, good God! Half your face covered, but I could tell right away it was you! Should I make you some cocoa, Master? It would warm you up a little. Make an extra creamy one for Ligia. Oh, I won't skimp on her. Now, your sister's putting a brave face on all this, but she's really having a hard time. It's lovely to see you again. But that's enough jabber for now. I've got the guests and the cocoa, and I've got to whip up some food for you all later. We'll talk soon. I don't want to put my foot in my mouth again. I already failed to recognize someone once today, but you look familiar. Well, I should think so. I was the victim of one of your starling hunts. Voronins must not be very memorable, cousin. Pietia! <laughs> Forgive me, and for shooting you as well. Ha! Huh. How are you doing? Just some heart problems, not a subject for today. We'll have to meet up again. Goodbye. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I thought I'd have to drink alone. So many goodies laid out for the guests. Having trouble picking something for yourself, Judge? But this was Stachios. It was special. Amber liqueur with quinces. I think you mean quince liqueur with amber, right? If it's not here, I'm sure it's in the basement. But I won't grope around down there in the dark now. I no, I don't want to trouble you either. Victor, could you track down a little bottle for your uncle? I suppose I'm obligated to accept this mission. <laughs> Good lad. A nephew like you is a treasure. So that's how you want to play.
How did it go? Mission accomplished? I think this is the one Uncle wanted. Yes. This is our little funeral battle. We would meet in Stasha's study after every funeral we went to, and raised a toast to the dead. And recently, we've been seeing one another more and more at such events. So, to an easy death, as Stasha and I used to say. Hmm. How did he die? Hasn't Ligia told you? I haven't even had the chance to ask. He didn't suffer. But such images in the memory are... What then? Am I drinking alone? May the ground be soft, father. I'm not betting there's an afterlife. <sighs> Well, obligation fulfilled. Shall we get to the reading of the will? You'll all have to wait for me a moment yet. All right, but hurry up. I am ready, Mr. Shulsky. Can we start reading your father's will? Yes, let his will be done. Let's begin if everyone is ready. Would you all please take a seat? Ladies and gentlemen, by the power of my office vested in me by the grace of His Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of All Russia, I hereby testify Mr. Shulsky's last will and testament were prepared several years ago in the presence of Zaslav Fedorov, Esquire, that is, myself. My last will and testament recorded in the year of our Lord 1888. In the name of the Holy Trinity. Amen. Excuse me, but could we get to the details? I think we all want to address more temporal matters, don't we? In theory... Would you be so kind? Of course. Ah, here we are. All movables and immovables relating to the family enterprise I entrust to the care and administration of my daughter. To my brother-in-law and oldest friend, Alexander Voronin, I wish to leave the following. My collection of muskets and two revolvers dating to the uprising in memory of our first meeting. Stasio, I will have plenty to do in my retirement. Enjoy your retirement. I wish you success with your business and your hunting. I'm going to have something to eat before heading off. Just a moment yet, Mr. Shulsky. Your name is also mentioned here. <laughs> a last-minute plot twist. I would also like to come to the aid of my only son, Viktor Shulsky, by entrusting him with the use of my personal black grimoire. In the hope that he will be able to make good use of it. This is my last will and testament. 
However, this last request poses a certain problem. Yes, it certainly does. And what is that, may I ask? I am not in possession of this grimoire. The late Mr. Shulsky used it up until his death. Yet no one left it with me after his passing. Did father have his grimoire on him at the time of his death? It was only because of the grimoire that we could identify him at all. What actually happened? How did he die? A building collapsed on top of him. I don't know any other way of putting it. Where did it happen? Where was this building? The southern part of Shudmieście, not far from the police station. Anyway, you can miss it. Of all the possibilities, this was the death that fate prepared for him. He died as he lived, miserably. He couldn't have met a more fitting end after what he did to me. You've got to know that Papa felt guilty. Even if he didn't say so outright. I'm not going to defend him, but I can't criticize him either. An accident is what happened, and Father treated two kids like the worst disgraces in the world. As if it had been premeditated. When a person dies so suddenly, their unfinished business remains. We'll never learn what Stachio carried in his heart. What do you intend to do? And where are Father's things at the moment? You're standing at the very center of his kingdom. Not everything has been sorted through yet, but you go right ahead. And the store? I should check that too. I've started stock taking there to distract myself and... I don't want you to go in there before I've finished. As you wish. And Mordechai Chayat, could that be a lead? I don't think so. He worked with father, but he left more than a year ago. I don't know why. Do you know where I might find him? Sadly, no. Do you have any other ideas? I think we have to look for the answer in the place where it happened. This is a good lead, but is it the only one? Now at least I can see how little I know. Maybe these scraps of information will lead me somewhere. Well, now that we know what's got to be figured out, forgive me, my darlings. I'll see you out. Goodbye, Uncle. And, uh, Ligia. I'm sorry it happened this way. The most important thing is you're here now. How do you find our old stomping ground? Yes, I'm not too fond of this place either. This is where I had my last conversation with my father, just before I left. Can you see my dreams? Nightmares, actually. Ever since I decided to come back, I keep reliving the same memory. The Lone Shark Incident. I've been seeing his death more and more lately. I wonder if his shop is still there. Perhaps we should go there and check. I failed.
The telephone. Hello? I talk here? Do you hear me now? Grigori? Yes. Victor, uh, where are you? On the other end of the line, at home, where the telephone rang. <laughs> Incredible. Has something happened? To me? No. I am telecommunicating with you to say I found lodgings here in Warsaw. If you need me, I'm by the cemetery. Uh, what number is it? <laughs> yes, yes. 7 Boboskoska Street. Uh, number 7 by cemetery. Boboskoska. I'm glad. It's good to hear your voice. <laughs> it's good to hear you as well. Uh, goodbye. I, I want to end now. What do I... Uh, like this? Wonderful device. Have you found anything yet about the Grimoire? Is there any way I can help? In Father's study I found a trace of a woman that I couldn't identify. Probably Svetlana Romyantseva. Who is she? And what did Father have to do with her? Svetlana is a Russian aristocrat who travels with the Romanov's court. I can only tell you she was a customer of Father's. A customer? If you don't want to say, then don't. Where can I find her? When she's in town, she stays at the Imperial Hotel. She might know something that will help me find the Grimoire. Not so fast. To get in, you're going to need me and my connections. Svetlana is famous for her soirees where she hosts the Creme de la Creme of Warsaw. What's a soiree? How long did you say you lived with Mother in Paris? Just a party, if you like. Do you know what that is? Very funny. We could go together. How about you track down some evening clothes and I'll sort out the invitation. And I won't take no for an answer. Sadly, you never give me a chance. Unfortunately, everything in my wardrobe is antediluvian. I need a tailor. There's a shop at 11 Pruzna Street that's fairly decent and quick. We also have barbers in Warsaw in case you want to do something about whatever you have growing on your head. Are you lost? Fuck. Don't try to be a hero, and it'll be all right. You're outnumbered. Quantity doesn't always translate to quality. Call the rest. We got one with a death wish.
Get off my lawn! Victor? I heard a noise. I'm fine. We've had a few unwelcome visitors. Burglars? What's wrong with this town? There's no rush. I don't think they'll try to rob anyone any time soon. Excuse me. Damn it. I forgot to turn the key. Sorry, what? You tell me. What is it? I need some evening wear, quick. Good proportions. Thank you. Alterations won't take long. Your name and address, sir? Viktor Shulski, 9 Green Square. I'll send a messenger when I'm done. And, Mr. Shulsky, if you'll allow me a moment of candor, as it often seems no one dares to address you with it. Sorry, what? Go and find yourself a barber in Pavonsky. You look like a troglodyte. Now, I'd like to go to my business. I won't bother you. All right. Mr. Shulsky. I couldn't help noticing you're struggling for inspiration. You've got a keen eye. I have to guess what everyone has in their mind. Is there any way I can help? I want to know what people look for in fashion these days. If you tell me that, I'll be grateful. Let me sharpen my senses. I won't bother you. All right. Come in. Please, set my head. Yes, sir. Thank you. 
Yes, you're talented. Years of practice. You will be mine. I failed. I see you went to a barber. That's something at least. Recently I met a bearded guy who's not especially fussy about his appearance. And yes, people welcome him everywhere with open arms anyway. Hmm, maybe he's a natural charmer. I've heard that can get you into the Imperial even without a tailcoat. Very funny. Yes, let's go and see if I do fit in. In that case, I'll go get changed too. Look at you. And here I worried I was the only one who looked good in trousers. Very chic choice. We can switch places. I look better than you do all in all. That I'd like to see. You think Papa would be mad that we're going to a party right after his funeral? I hope so. Victor. He could have kept from losing the Black Grimoire. Are we ready? Welcome to the Imperial Hotel. How may I help you? Ligia Szulska, here on the invitation of Svetlana Romianceva. Yes, we are expecting you, of course. The uh, soiree is taking place in apartment 237, I wish you a thrilling and successful evening. I'm impressed. Our name still means something. Who are you, my golden slithering friend? Victor? Victor. Victor! Can you hear me? Yes, uh, of course. These people are just waiting for us to put a foot wrong, understand? Everything's all right. I just got a little lost in thought. I'll be good, I promise. I'm going to hang around here a little longer. I'll meet you upstairs. Huh. See you there. Well, well, someone new. Good evening. Good evening. Irina Orlova of Those Orlovs. This is Natalia Obolenskaya, and this strangely quiet soul is our delightful Sofia Skawan. Irina is exaggerating. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Shulsky. The Governor General's daughter herself. How do you do? What can you tell us? How are you enjoying yourselves? We can't complain. Seeing as we're debutantes, we're getting a lot of attention. Really? Maybe you'll tell us something about yourself. I suspect you want to hear more about the book. We've never met a thaumaturgist before. A thaumaturge? Don't worry. But now you do. Well, it depends on what kind of trick you show us, Mr. Shulsky. 
I need to slip away for a moment. Oh no, what a shame. What did we come here for? These soirees are for old people. Good evening. May I? Please, we're not discussing anything consequential. <laughs> you keep on worrying about yourselves. See, I told you he was in love. Miss Scawan is out of your league, my friend. To say nothing of her father. Old Scawan and I are practically on first name terms now. I'm sure. So, one eye-catching girl has already got an admirer? Hmm, not much. The dull, the silly, or, well, the old. En parlant de Ligia Shulska, <laughs> she just passed this way. Pigs will fly before someone fancies her. She'd actually prefer Sophia Scawan, according to what I've heard. Well, what do you think? My name is Viktor Shulsky. Well, there we have it. I'm afraid we've got a few things to explain to one another. Preferably through violence. I don't think so, Mr. Shulsky. Where are you from? You're among polite society, not cattle. I'm not the only one itching for a brawl, am I? Let's take this out to the forecourt, gentlemen. Sergei, my friend, anything for you. Mr. Shulsky? I need... Oh.
Mr. Sulsky. I didn't expect to see you here, of all places. You don't know how very flattering that is. And what brings you to the Imperial? The cream of Warsaw society is here, so I... With a name like yours, I'm sure you fit right in. After all, someone must have invited you. The friend of a friend of a friend is throwing this party. Romanceva herself? Look at you! And who invited you? The friend of a friend of a friend. What are you hoping for this evening? Who knows? Maybe I'm keeping an eye out for the future Mrs. Shulska. <laughs> Best of luck. You'll need it, since Ligia ended up with the entire inheritance. My sister didn't inherit everything. That's right, in fact. After all, Stanislav had his little black magic book. But I don't see you carrying it. Two is more than I can carry. I left it at home. Understandable. Who did you say you were to my father? A trusted acquaintance. I supported him with good advice. Though truth be told, he rarely needed it. Your father had a gift for making good decisions. Which of my father's decisions would those be? Ones that were good for your family. Perhaps we'll have the chance to return to this. And a goodbye, Mr. Shulsky. Yes, I'm sure. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. And the general says to him, tell us something funny. Then Bautsky replies, General, why don't you shoot a cannon first? That's a good one. Who might this be joining our conversation? You know, sir, your face looks familiar to me. My name is Viktor Shulsky. Ah, oh, yes, I can see something in your eyes. I was sorry to hear about your father. I'll see you next time, darling. Wonderful party. See you there. I think I've offended the creme de la creme of Warsaw. This is hardly the creme de la creme. How do you find my soiree? The crux of the matter is that I'm here because of my father. Doesn't sound like a question. Of course, I was his customer. I truly am sorry for you, both of you. Did please accept my condolences. Svetlana Petrovna, I must insist. Can you tell me something more about my father? Mr. Shulsky, I assure you we have the most delectable vodka. Besides that, I warmly encourage you to join Madame Samira's. I wonder, is that truly everything our soiree can offer you? I've got no choice but to suffer through tonight. No need to mince words. Here you are. Gentlemen, meet my brother. Viktor Shulsky. The last Shulsky to wear trousers. You don't know that. Miss Ligia could yet produce an heir to the fortune. Maybe even with me, if she doesn't tell my wife. But let's talk like men. You intend to take over your father's company, correct? Rest assured, gentlemen, when it comes to the family business, I'm following my father's will. 
So I can be sure I won't have to deal with you, gentlemen. I suppose it's true what they say about you. Yes? What's that? You've lost your mind. It's true. I'm completely nuts. I can't tell what's true and what's a bluff. Good luck with your business, miss. Yeah, yeah. Now I can forget about anyone wanting to say a word to me. You've always got me. Listen, as far as those two are concerned, I just didn't like how they were treating you. I'm used to it, Victor. Any progress with Svetlana? Unfortunately, Svetlana doesn't want to breathe a word of it. I'm sure she doesn't trust you. In company like this? Why the cold shoulder, Ligia? I've never liked her. Her manner gets under my skin. Hmm. I'd better change the subject. Sofia Skawan, the Governor General's daughter. Do you know her? No, and I don't suggest you make her acquaintance either. Skawan can't stand thaumaturges. Guess who I ran into again? All mysterious and carved up. Ivan Konieczkin? What do you know about him? Mm, not much. He was an acquaintance of Papa's. Well, in theory, it's thanks to him that we're here. What? Ligia? I know that nothing comes for free, but he really didn't want anything. Yeah, he looks like a real altruist. I'm going. Good evening. Psst, the energy can't be disrupted. I saw one of your posters. You look different in it. Really? The illustration doesn't reflect reality? How should I take that? No one warned me that I should get in costume for the party. Ugh, I beg your pardon. I'm just noting that you stand out among these boring guests. Impudent. Just a bit uncouth, I'd say. Do you know the hostess well? Will you leave me alone if I say I don't? No. Svetlana Pietrovna invited me, and I am doing my best to meet her expectations. Let's keep out of one another's way. Whose soul are you summoning tonight, dear madame? I only know which one I'd prefer to banish. Shoo! Maybe my dead father's? If you manage that, it would spare me a lot of trouble. Now we'll never know. I'll stop disrupting the energy here. Until... <sighs> I felt something. Where is it? I was looking for you. Do you smoke, Mr. Shulsky? I've quit. In light of our approaching conversation... Victor. 
ask. The burned note. Who sent it? I only sensed underhanded kindness. Da, the Ochrana. I don't know which one of them exactly, if that's what you're asking. I've worked hard at it. When did you receive this note? A few weeks ago, back before your father. I see. You two had an affair. <sighs> two grown-up, lonely people found momentary comfort in each other's arms. But romance wasn't behind that relationship. It was just that we were both looking in the same direction. What do you mean by looking in the same direction? <sighs> that large travel chest. You changed your mind... About whether or not to pack. Right then I wanted to escape badly, but... In this game of false appearances, I'm the best. I still don't know how this lovely note ended up in your hands. But in addition, I found a lovely strings of pearls, and on it, your feelings of guilt. Your power is terrifying. I hoped you might know something about the Black Grimoire. My father left it to me in his will, but the Grimoire has gone missing. No. And the collapsed building? Have you been there? Not yet. However how hard it is, you should check there. It will give you more understanding than all the investigators put together. My dear boy, I know nothing about Stanislav's book. I'm sorry, but I can't help you there. But I will not let you leave empty-handed. What you find there belongs to you. Thank you. Splendid ladies, distinguished gentlemen, the hour is at hand. With lights dimmed and the curtains drawn, the souls of the dead slowly gather among us. On their command, I will give the chosen among you a tarot card as your invitation to the table. Let us gather in secret ritual. and the aura once again lies in ruins. Maybe... Now. You want anything else? You enjoying yourself in this viper's den? Oh, the vodka is quite tolerable. I'm observing my own brother taking out his anger on ordinary mortals. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Because I heard a certain conflict took place in the forecourt. Hey, they started it. 
I was just defending your honor. Uh, again? I'm going. Mr. Shulsky, may I have a word? How can I help? My friends and I are just playing truth order, and now it's my turn. Won't you dazzle me with your powers? And how might my powers prove useful to you, miss? Well, rather than the truth, a dare sounds good to me. It involves finding out my comrades' secrets, Irina, Maxim or Sergei. The trick is that you're cleverer at it than I am. I accept. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Let me see what I can find. Will any secret do? Any. Oh. I'll take a look around. Getting impatient. What have you found out? Miss Irina would like to get to know Maxim better, but she keeps hesitating. What? She never told me. And what does our dear Maxim think of that? Maxim only has one thing on his mind. Miss Irina. Oh, I knew it! Oh, I was wondering where you'd gone off to. You know Sergei, don't you? We're already acquainted. Mr. Shulsky and I have completed my extra difficult dirt together. At your service. Now time for truth. Are you seeing anyone? My heart is already taken. <sighs> I was counting on a different response. Mr. Shulsky, our time is up. Sofia and I must leave for the seance. Thank you once more. See you. Therefore, the Savita chased Sofia Skawan and her floor here. She seemed like such an innocent girl, didn't she? It's no coincidence she focused on me, the little scamp. If I want to discern that little schemer's floor, I'll have to join that sepulchral table. Either her scheming, or her jealous knight in shining armor, will help me identify her flaw. I hope her father doesn't find out. Is this seat free? The energy is dissipating. So now, please focus on them. Yes, please begin. You, sir, have closed our circle. <laughs> Your face. Is everything all right, my child? <sighs> Let us lay our hands on the table. Let us allow our minds to liberate themselves from our bodies toward the edges of the world as you know it. Are you thinking of someone exceptional whom you wish to summon? Hmm. Leave her alone. Sergei, this has nothing to do with you. Dear guests, I implore you, the souls! Is that jealousy I hear? 
You will mock me no longer! Uh, focus on someone you want to make contact with. Would a duel make you happy, miss? Between this poor man and me? Are you all going to fight now? Choose a location! A duel over me would be truly be unexciting. Yes, I think so too. Don't you dare! <sighs> you weren't supposed to be here. Ah, a thaumaturg. Now everything makes sense. I was supposed to leave here with Velis. All that work for nothing. Spare yourself the trouble. It was a fair fight. But I don't intend to hold you here. Truth be told, I even feel sorry for you. What does that mean? Rid yourself of the pride you've got within. Otherwise, it will lead you to the gallows. Enough of this. There's a sadditor waiting for me. Enjoy him, fool. Stop fighting me. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this evening the souls were particularly restless. The souls have now told me everything I needed to hear. <laughs> and you, sir, what can you tell us?
Please don't worry. From now on, everything will be fine. Fine? Sir, you must have slept through the last quarter of an hour. Sofia, listen. I freed you from a flaw that... What's going on here? The guests are complaining, and with good cause, I see. We're terminating this disaster. What is this rubbish about a flaw, my dear Mr. Shulsky? You got me riled up and now you're trying to weasel out? A real skimmer you are. Wait, it was you Mr. Puchalski was talking about. What was he saying? That you're a bore, a troublemaker and a pest. Let's go. like that. Mr. Sursky, are you alright? I think it's time for us to go. I'll snug us a carriage. You'll have a hard time at this hour. I'll drop you off. See, you can always count on Mr. Konieczki. Viktor. Thank you. That's very polite. Thank you for an interesting evening. <sighs> what? I didn't say anything. Fine. Ligia. <laughs> Good night. The telephone. Hello? 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 Victor? Speaking. Victor, Uncle Sasha here. How are you? Have you visited your old stomping ground yet? Is there any specific reason why you're calling me? I wanted to... Uh, need. I need your help, boy. It's a very delicate matter. Are you able to find a moment for your uncle? 
Maybe now would be a good time to explain it, since you're calling. It's not something to discuss over the phone. They keep switching those lines. You never know who's listening. All right. So where should we meet? Remember where I took you kids for donuts? Uh, I do. <laughs> Let's meet there. Maybe we can reminisce about the old days. Better days. See you then, Victor. Thank you. Get a stake for when your life is at stake. Make any vampire quickly retire. An aspen stake for you, sir? Premium wood, carp. They're cheap. Vampires? I don't think so. What do you mean, idiot? Vampires are salutors attracted by blood and sizzling passion. It's what people believe that matters. The steaks are exquisite, I must admit. What else do you sell? Holy icons, miraculous Marys, salt. Table salt? Consecrated, but the steaks, I tell you, sir. Ever since they buried the magician, they've been selling like hotcakes. Do you believe in all of this? I believe in money. Then who am I to argue? This buried magician, is it Shulski? I think so. It makes no difference to me what his name was. For him, stakes are not enough. We need to call the Pope. Don't tell anyone or I'll lose my livelihood. Goodbye. I hope the vampires don't take revenge on you. They have no interest in me. I'm anemic. Hey, please, tell your friends on... Not close. I would even say a solid A to it. I don't know. We'll see when he turns around. May I ask what you ladies are doing? What everyone does. We're evaluating. A solid eight? You know, on a scale from one to ten, you look quite spiffy, sir. Why are you smoozing with some sucker who's already suited and booted for his own funeral? And you, lousy fop, got an itch and looking for some philandering at the marble orchard, are you? Six, five, zero. There's nothing here for you. Mr. Eight got some, you know. Get ready for some shellacking, lads. We got a dandy looking for some extra ventilation. Sir? You have the unique opportunity of becoming a Ten.
Yes, sir? Please let me in. It's urgent. You can't just turn up like this. What will I tell sir and madam? Fear not, I'm here for Rasputin. I can sense he's in a drawing room. Intriguing. Is that him? In the flesh. Allow me to introduce you. My dear hostess, Aniela Narodzinska, and my dear friend, Viktor Shulsky. Your father had a beautiful funeral. Thank you. My dear, we finished for today. What brings you here? But you were the one who found. Very funny. Actually, I don't feel great. Let's see what you've brought with you this time. Close your eyes and focus on my words. Concentrate on my voice. Follow my voice inside yourself. Him. He's remarkable. I I can't tame him. You can and you will. Look, he's afraid of you. Calm your heartbeat. It will scare him off. Calm yourself. You look better. You slept a long time. Yes, it feels that way. What year is it? Still 1905. Yet time flows on inexorably. You look like you've made yourself at home. No, I'm afraid not. They're kind people, but I've experienced another vision. Though not fully terrifying. Will you tell me about it? Later. What brings you to me? Have you known them long? No. But Aniela and Lucian are my two good souls. They took me, an impoverished preacher, in under their roof. And I'll never forget that. Are you helping them too? I am a bomb for Aniela's frazzled nerves. But enough of that. Tell me what you need. Why was she looking at me so oddly? What did you tell her about me? She's never seen a thaumaturge before. I only mentioned to her how we met. Can I help you at all? No, I won't bother you. The Narazinski door is always open to you.
Am I a magician or what? Death did not catch my father by surprise. It seems as if he had been expecting it, just not at that moment. And this building, it couldn't have just fallen down like that right as he was going by. Maybe he was on his way to a tryst with Svetlana. Hey, Suski! What? Chicken butt! Tie him up! There you go. Tighter. We took his book. Well done. All right, let's wake the asshole up. Wakey, wakey. What? What's... Well, come on, Sleeping Beauty. I haven't got all day. Now, let me get a good look at you. You look rough, fancy boy. This isn't what I was expecting. What's the meaning of this? A shooting star, am I? For a moment, flickering. Granting hope, holding fearful humanity briefly by the throat, before suddenly vanishing. Hold on. About it. Someday, this poetry will be the end of me. Long time no see, Shulski. What kind of a sick idea is this? Kidnapping me? It's a joke! You don't find it funny? No. What does it feel like to have your life depend on me? Not the best. Listen, I understand you hold some resentment within yourself over what happened, but I can't change the past. Well, yes. But shit! You told me to wait for help and instead the boys in blue showed up and you washed your hands of it and left my pop to rot in prison. At least admit that you acted like a dick. I admit that it was a shitty move on my father's part. Your father's? Well, look at this weasel. Straight to whitewashing the past. Like father, like son, eh? Yes, I have the same family name and I'm also a thaumaturge. I don't think even you despised him as much as I did. His own son. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Now, years later, maybe things have changed, but once... There'd be no reason to talk if you hadn't pinched Papa's gut back then. Victor, it kills me that we pulled the trigger together. Together! Yeah, dude? Where's that rat? What the fuck? Boss, it's the Cossacks again. Come here, coward! Looks like you've got a chance for redemption. Let's show these dickheads you don't mess with the shivs. I'll take a look around. You guys again. You shitheads better have a good excuse. Be it was fate that decided. We flipped a coin, and it turns out that today... We're practicing our boxing on you. Some... Feathers? Okay. I know you. You're... I can't remember now. Fucked up. But today, you'll regret it. Today I've got the Demon Master on my side.
<laughs> you never let me down. This is the best way to start an evening, at Nyejit's bar. If we're to have fun, let's do it right. Old friendships never die, right? Here, Polish, pure, the mother of all libations. Enjoy it! Who knows what piss you've been drinking abroad. So, are we quits? I help you out. Now, can we forget all that ancient history? Don't be so sly, Victor. We're not squared up. Yet. That burns nicely. My knuckles are itching. Let's go somewhere and pick a fight. Good riddance. Well, what do you say, Victor? It seems to me there's work for me to do at your bar. No shit! Not like that. Thaumaturgical work. It seems to me there's a salutar here. What the fuck? Who brought a demon into my joint? Hey, everybody! From this day forth, the London bar will be known as The Demon's Den! Listen, you keep on thinking about how you can develop your business, and I'm going to take a look around and come right back. Go! I'm going to wet my whistle and see how you do your hocus pocus. That giant bird must enjoy it, and I'm sure it also stirs up the chaos. Victor, time for penalty drinks. Feathers, a beak, those eyes. Who are you? Don't make me come over there! Do I know someone with mood swings, a tendency for bravado, and a weakness for booze? Have you nosed around my humble little hole in the wall? What's the word? I've had a look around and something's caught my attention. Well then, shoot! A bucket of dirty water and a blood-soaked rag. Whose blood is this? As if I remember everybody who's bled on the floor here. Every day we've got to clean up after somebody. Is that everything or have you found anything else? Did anybody die from this bullet that got stuck in the post? Bullets fly every which way here. That's the atmosphere. Was someone killed? Look how helpful I am. Keep going. Who smashed your window? How long it's been? Uh, two days, I think. This one Russian bigwig was really fucking irritating me, so I politely asked him to leave. What else can I help you with? Tell me. Uh, I'm at your service. You like to go wild here, huh? Are you often the one who gets the old crazy ball rolling? You know I used to have a puppy. This little fluff ball was hanging out under the bar. I have a heart, Victor. I have a big heart. Not like those morons over there. To Cossacks, a game without a corpse is no game at all. For me, knocking out teeth, breaking hands, I'll take it. A stiff spoils the mood of it. That's my opinion. You get a lot of stiffs here then? Where my corpse here lieth down. Something, something looketh around. Danis, that Cossack with a dick where his head should be, pulled out his revolver one day and wanted to play Russian roulette. Only with his revolver. But fuck it, I'm not handing my head over so easily to a butcher like that. 
Well, then I'll ask you, is he an idiot or what? I have to gather my thoughts. Go ahead, go ahead. I have to... Lelek. What the hell did you say, Victor? You're... The Salutor's name's Lelek. Well, yes, the beak, the feathers, the trill. He loves the smell of death and he enjoys risk and foolishness, which he also fuels. So let's go get Lelek. Yeah, come on. Where about it is, Lelek could be as well. Whoever's with us is with us, and whoever's against us, fuck him. Maybe your demon will be drinking vodka somewhere there too. Take a deep breath. That's the smell of Warsaw nightlife. Smell it, Victor. Relish it. A bouquet of sweat, shit, and puke. And piss, thanks. But it's Warsaw's piss and puke interwoven with the aroma of steadfastness and heroism. Come on, you'll see the true face of Abauritsi Niedzic. And maybe you'll even find what you're looking for. Wah, if you give up, you piece of sh- Do you see what I see? I see two morons wrestling with a lamppost. How are you fellas doing? Who's winning? It's a colossus, looking down its nose, Eric. Well, that would piss anyone off. All in all, look at it this way, about it, sir. Well, that's true. If you look close enough at it, it could be enough to piss you off. That's what I said. You sure showed that lamppost what brave squaddies you are. Do my eyes deceive me, or are you vandalizing city property? I think you must have a screw loose, gents. <laughs> Different rules apply in the bar district. No need to show your ID, Nijit. We've already got a sale waiting for you. Well, I don't think so. Go ahead, Victor. Sure gave that the Cossack treatment. And what? You guys were so worn out from fighting a lamppost that you didn't help? It was fun to watch. Time to keep an eye out for Dennis. Maybe the Ataman ended up at the Lockstock. Where? The Lock, Stock and Barrel. This Ruski bar up the stairs here. The night's still young. There's excitement ahead. This devil of yours hasn't turned up yet? So far, no. We'll manage. Uh, 
private party tonight, no riffraff. Is there a problem? I just work here. Tasha and the other girls are inside, not... Well, great job, Victor. What now? In your shoes? I'd pull a nasty prank on him to let us in. Why not? I said I wouldn't let you in. Well, after thinking it over, we're too keen on going in after all, bum. What was that? Dimitri, it's called. One of my favorite hobbies. You'll regret it. This is what they call a private party? <laughs> what is this, awake? Look at her all over him. Ah, oh, Nashtrug. Did I hear you talking about Danis? Danis and babes. He talks a lot, makes a big fuss around himself. So them babes must like him. Yeah, nothing for us to do except drink and enjoy one another's company. You know Danis pretty well, right? Yeah, what about it? I take a professional interest in guys like him. Yeah. You think I can ask you guys a couple of questions? Let's see what you're after, wizard. Danis had a fiancé, but she dumped him. You know, he keeps his feelings to himself. Maybe she got sick of waiting. And is that what made Danis so devil-may-care? Sure. What would it be otherwise? Who is Pasha? Our body. From the same village as us, out past the Don River. Pasha's dead. Leave it at that. What actually happened to him? They all stick close together. But when you're drunk, you get some weird ideas. That damned Shashka of Pasha's was a spoil of war. So, Danis clearly won. But that little saber of Pasha's doesn't make him feel triumph. More like love and concern. Who is Pasha? Our body. Pasha's dead. What actually happened to it? The all stick closed that damned. So, Daniel. But that little saber of Pasha's does. You know what I think? You're not being straight with me. What? I think Pasha and Danis were more than comrades in arms and blood brothers. On top of that, I think that's why Danis's fiance dumped him. People from your village kept giving her crap. The fuck are you talking about? They were blood brothers, that's all. Calm down, I can see your faithful friends. I if you like breathing through a straight nose, don't try any funny business.
Danis doesn't think about what he's doing, and he doesn't care about the consequences. He couldn't cope with his broken heart, so he started tumbling further and further into the depths of chaos. It seems like Pasha was more to him than just a comrade and close friend. His death hit Danis like a train. Since then, his life's been nothing but irrational behavior. He's thumbing his nose at death. I think I'll accept the challenge. Time to figure out his flaw and catch Lelek. I wonder if he'll play Russian roulette with me. Come on, don't make me back. I'll fix up your head for no extra fee. I'm in no hurry to go upstairs. I feel like a game. You up for one? Me? Forget it. I have gorgeous hands. Everyone says so. You're not gonna carve them up with that shank. What? You eavesdropping magician? You're sitting there so quietly. How about a little game? You play Russian roulette here, lads? Or are you too soft? Ha! Think you're harder than me? I eat Russian roulette for breakfast. Let's play. Did someone say Russian roulette? Show us what a tough guy you are, pretty boy. Six chambers, one bullet. Ready to start? Wait, Victor. Let's play with mine. Yours would do too. It would be more interesting that way. Does this remind you of anything? My turn. It was nice knowing you guys. And you, Victor. Well, four more. Ah! We're starting round two. Is that how it was with Pasha? Do you wonder if you're going to wipe the remains of my brain of your face? Shut your trap! What? You shit in your pants? Gods of chaos, watch over me. That's the end. We know what's waiting in the cylinder. You brave enough to cross even that final boundary? Enough, gentlemen. We were kidding around. Danis, there's nothing in there. I didn't load it. Pasha ran out of luck and lost his shashka, right? You're lying, Nijits. You're all lying. You think I'm scared of death? The sight of me makes the Grim Reaper quake in his boots. Well, go ahead. Watch carefully. Is that lovely song for me? Don't stop. I'm enjoying listening.
enough of losing. Rasputin will tame you. Bullets have no effect on me. The end will never come. What are you talking about, Dennis? Let's get to drinking, then I... You don't understand. None of you. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear another word. Get... Shut it, silly. Or I'll find a loaded piece and shoot you dead. Give me a second. To get my thoughts together. Let yourself feel the pain that's consuming you. You need it. Pasha, I'm sorry. I haven't mourned you. Danis, pull yourself together. Come on! No, Selim, I have to. You too as well. Forgive me. Don't say anything. No words are net. Seems to me we should drink a toast to the dead. Dennis, we are your brothers forever! Come on, let's leave these scoundrels alone. What a poetic experience. I can feel it in my bones. As if I were part of something grand, you know? You carry an unloaded revolver? Anybody can pull a trigger. But tell me, did you catch the little sprat? Yeah, I did. But it wasn't easy. Was it worth it? I don't know. At least now it won't be Lelek deciding Danis' fate. Anything that lets you sleep at night, friend. Forget sleep. Now I need hypnosis. Thanks for today, Amboritsa. Oh no, hold on now. The night will end when I say so. Come here. What do I care? Lead the way. Well, yeah, I get that. At the end of the day, what heals the body and soul better than a double vodka, eh? Pour! To us, to you, to vodka! <laughs> Show her your demon, Victor. <laughs> Just not on my shoes. Victor, Victor boy. <laughs> Ninety-nine bottles standing on the wall. Hey! <gasps> Well, hello, Sleeping Beauty. My head's about to explode. The front steps got the better of you. But, Victor, to hell with that. What a night we had. Admit it. If you're looking for fun? Well, I admit. Quite, Schmite. It was spectacular. And we both know it. We'd better get away from here, if Ligia finds us. Ligia! And by what fault do your eyes burn red, hot, while your mouth is like honey? Virtue? I see you're looking after our good name, brother. At your service, sister. You know that for me, our family's good name always comes last. I'll pretend that those words are a product of your present indisposition. 
Ligia, sweetheart, don't listen to this idiot. It's the booze talking, not him. Can you make it home from here, or do you need a hand? But, but, those five rubles, remember? This is a bit awkward, but... Well, spit it out. A full sentence, please. My beloved sister, could you please, on my behalf, give some money to Abaurice? Here, from now on you can cover your own tabs. Maybe you'll even start paying for your own telegrams. And now, pardon me, but I have things to do in- All right, don't worry about it now. We'll have a chance to meet. Next time? <laughs> so you think I'm done with you? I know not why others stare, lest it's at our drinking fair. I need to see Rasputin. Yes, sir? Please let me in. It's urgent. You can't just turn up like this. Fear not. I'm here for Rasputin. I can sense... He... It's good to see you. Although... I think I can already see what you need. Let's not waste time. How about that? I'll be very grateful to you for another round of help. Let me share something about your pace in hunting for salutors. Aren't you losing yourself too much in it? Again? Is there something you want to tell me? Do you not want to help me anymore? Nonsense. You can always count on me. I'm just worried. Close your eyes and focus on my words. Follow my voice inside yourself. Where is he? I don't see him, but I can sense. So that's how you want to play. That chirping of his is unbearable. Do you hear him? Good. That means you can locate him. Point him out to me. Focus on his song and show me where he's hiding. You have him. You look better. You slept a long time. Yes, it feels that way. What year is it? Still 1905. Yet time flows on. I think I shouldn't abuse the Nadarzhinsky's hospitality any further. That distressed woman you mentioned, Svetlana. You know, I saw her in my vision. That surly maid brought me the gossip about her that was going around town. This Fiatwana is causing herself trouble. What was this gossip, may I ask? Nothing that would sully her in your eyes. 
And you know, I think she needs help. Help? What do you want me to do? Bring her to me. I won't keep you. Until next time. Shut up, Snake. Did you think we wouldn't find out? It's your tsunami. I hope you clean up after yourselves. Rumianceva, here's your new sakamierni. But I haven't done anything. We can always come up with something. Arrest him. If you hadn't shown up here, I need a moment. Leave me. I came to pick you up. What associate? Where? In Pavansky. The neighborhood, not the cemetery. Victor, I need to flee the country. Do you understand? Will you help me? Everything has its price. There is... Something I have not yet told you about Stanislav. I'll tell you in exchange for getting me safely to Vienna. I'll take you to the Nadarzhinskis and let you know as soon as I've heard anything. Shulski, you're haggling like an old fishwife. I don't think he had one. <laughs> we had better go. Come on, I'll hail you a carriage. Wait, my travel chest. I never go anywhere without it.
I'd feel safer if you rode with me to the Nadazhinskys. If I'm going to help you, I first have to visit the place where our friendship was born and more than one hope died. Что? I need to go to the London bar. Just hurry, please. A few days, Mr. Dejic. A few days! M Mr. Dejic, I'll pay it back, I swear. They're running tomorrow at Mokotov Racetrack. I I'll win! We had one as long as you paid your dues. I'm begging you! Quit your bawling! You'll get tear stains on my rug! You look tired. Want a coffee? Always glad for a coffee. I'm just sorting something out with this cow face here who doesn't pay on time. Where should we start? Teeth or knees? Please! Don't let him! I only owe 12 rubles! Can I cover his debt with his money? Yes! I beg you! I promise you, sir, I'll repay every kopeka. Well, you've got a sponsor. All right, get him out of here. So, how'd you take it? Black? Black, strong, no sugar. Tell me what brings you here. There's a certain woman who'd like to disappear from Warsaw. What exactly do you mean by disappear? I'm looking for safe and discreet transportation to Vienna. Sadly. The shivs can't help. That's not our line. But I know a man, Javier... Javier something or other. Find him? Although, finding him might be tricky. You know where I can find him? Thank the gods of chaos that you've got a great buddy like me. You should talk to Forman Romek. He usually recruits day laborers in the Povishna district. He knows everybody there. Thanks. I'll head off. Not so fast. Have you been to Povishla since you got back from your travels? Last time I was there was more than 15 years ago. Stuff goes on there that make your blood curdle. The locals can't stand outsiders and protect their own. Don't go around grilling random people. Thanks. I can handle it from here. Your coffee. Excuse me, officer. What do you mean, not allowed? Sergeant Kadash! We're conducting an operation. More like farting around. My taxpayer rubles are paying for you to chow down on herring. And what are you here for? 
I'm sorry, but I need to get to the wolf. And how do you intend to do that? Shit! A magician! Get him, boys! I told you some dingbat was snooping around. The Flatfoots are gone, but I got a hunch I'm gonna have trouble with you. Interesting hunch. We taking him to Ariel? Nah, we'll do this our way.
Enough of this, Narishkeet. Say who you are, and what you're doing on my turf. First, show yourself, coward. You're in no position to raise your voice. It's better that way. We can talk as equals. What are you making such a gavolt for? What do you want? I didn't know I was on someone's stuff. People here have got enough problems of their own without some goyish outsider coming and giving them crap. Get to the point. I'm looking for a smuggler. What for? For smuggling, what else? I need Javier. Is that all? I took you for someone else. I can introduce you to Javier. You interested? I know Javier likes to fight. So, should we head to the boxing ring? Something like that. I see you've sniffed out what you can. Shall we? Lead the way. You sure changed your tune quickly. Welcome to Povishla. Ariel Rafe. Stick with me and they won't touch a hair on your head. Welcome to the dungeon. A mecca of gambling and violence. You see the box above the ring? I'll wait there. Make yourself comfortable. Put a bet on the fight. Place your bets, ladies and gents. Don't miss the chip. How about a bet? I'd like to bet on the fight. On Barschik or on everybody else? I'll put a rubble on a Barschik. Corking choice. You take IOUs? Sure, why not? Get riding. You're fretting, Ariel. His hips are fine. Shouldn't you be at home right now? And you, what are you doing here? Barstik, meet Viktor Shulsky. Anything? Anything. Viktor is a tomaturge. Sorry, what? What? A magician in the ring? He Enough kidding around, Barstik. I know you are Javier. Well, you almost impressed me. Javier Sanchez via Conejito Ramirez. Now that we know you ain't just anybody, maybe you can show us if you're the real deal, or just some stiff from downtown. You getting in the ring? Who am I supposed to be fighting against? Everybody. That's tradition. Just don't embarrass us, Thomas Churches. Senoras y senores, a slight change of plans. I know, I know. Barschek is the best. But listen. Marcel and his brothers-in-law versus a son of Sh... Don't embarrass me.
good, Victor. The crowd loves you. They love to hate you. Give them time. Does Victor deserve the neighborhood's respect? Maybe the chicos from Fifth Alley will make mincemeat out of him. You... Let's get on with it. Who's next? Straight from America. Fucker. Try not to get them even more damn riled up. I'm only here for professional purposes. A professional ass kicking. So be it. Let's fight! How much more? Come on, smile! Bueno, that's enough for him. Did you see him? Not such a weak chico after all. How do you feel? I'm in the mood to do business. Tell me, gringo, huh? I need a smuggler. I know, Mago. Say what you need me to smuggle. Who? One lady needs to discreetly leave the Russian partition and get to Vienna. For how much? She can afford it. Let's just say she's quite far up in high society. A rich chica wants to go to Vienna? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure somebody is looking for this clafter. Otherwise, she'd get on a train. If they catch us. It's la muerte para nuestros amigos. However, fortune favors chutzpah after all. Al diablo. The river giveth, the river taketh away. Vámonos. So, what's now? Now go get the lady. 
and we'll meet at Port Praga at night. But tell that clafter of yours that it ain't gonna be a tea party. Adios. Hold it, Tempermancer, for I am White Roman. Pardon? You are Victor Shulsky. Your family is famous for its powerful Tempermancers. I am the most powerful of the entire family. This will make you a worthy opponent. I am a master of Tempermancy, White Roman and I challenge you to a duel. Everything is at stake. The winner will be declared King of the Tempermancers. Have at you then. Why not right now? The memorable moment is here. To me, devoted visitors. To me, salutars. Oh, God. also took a valuable and instructive lesson from this. I accept the title of King of the Tempermancers. Your triumph is temporary, Viktor Shulsky. I will find you when you are ready for the next fight. That's what I'm afraid of. The things people come up with. Yes, sir. Please let me in. It's urgent. You can't... Fear not. I'm here for... I can sense.
Am I bothering you? Not at all. I've just got a few people together who I can assist with their spiritual purification. Have you come to get our friend? Yes. I'll get her out of here. Watch out for yourself, too. Thank you. I hope that you've had a hospitable stay. You have uh, unsettling friends, truly. The Nadarzynskis are reserved and boring, unlike that uh, Grigory. What do you think of him? I don't. I'd like to leave this place now, if possible. We'd better get a move on. Finally, don't forget my luggage. Come on, it's time. Don't look around this ain't a museum. Head down. That building in front of you. The entrance is around the corner. You pick some very interesting people to work with. What's that? From now on, that's your problem. Entrance around the corner, right? You know what you're doing. Did you want a pumpkin carriage and some glass slippers, senora? I left that fucking chest by the door. I could barely lug it. Big as a whale's two heads. We gonna do something or just stand here and stare? So what's the plan? What are we doing? You'll get papers. Austrian ones. Almost authentic, but don't go flashing them left and right. Then it's off to the pier, and onto a boat out of the city. In Krakow, a transfer to a Vienna-bound train. Si, bueno. As soon as we agree on the money. If this is going to work, then we need to get going. Ariel, you go to the puerto and call the little captain. La señora will get changed. And we'll follow after you. Victor will come too. He'll see if anyone's following us. Что? I do what? What you paid for. Via Candius, my friend. A gita nacht, Scheifella. Damn wife fucker, you've ruined my life! Your chica did what she wanted. Victor, tell him I'm right. Two of you? I'm going to get killed because someone disrespected the sanctity of marriage.
Have you ever considered celibacy? Your business would go better. But what kind of life would that be, Senora? But the boat can't hold that! There is no choice. If God wills it, a broom can shoot. Load it up. Vámonos. There's no time. I need another word with Victor. Señora. Time to pay up. Time's running out. I need the knowledge you promised me. What are you guys lagging around for? Hurry up! Your father moved in the circles of people who shared his views, who would like to see Poland back on the map. Do you understand what I mean? He was a patriot. I didn't expect he could have gotten involved with such a lofty idea. He secretly dreamed of creating a force that would give true hope to the Polish people. One that might till the scales in favor of the independence fighters. Loka, quickly! He believed he didn't need a great army, just a handful of daredevils with extraordinary abilities. You getting in the boat or not? I need to go. Your father was a wonderful man, Victor. And you remind me of him a great deal. Thank you. For everything. Wait! Who are these people? How can I find them? I don't know. They hide in the shadows. Good luck. I trust that you'll find your grimoire, Viktor Shulski. Adieu! Keep an eye on those bequeathal papers. If there's a problem with payment, we'll reach out to you. Why are you so distrustful? When a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. Amigos.
You think they're dead? They had no chance. Clad in clay and the fury of the sons of Israel will arise to crush their enemies. Get out of here. Golems follow blood. The father... What the hell are you talking about? And it will pursue them until their blood is lost in the abysses of Sheol. You understand? What am I supposed to do to get rid of him? The golem is gonna look for you until he kills you. And all of those of your blood. That is, unless you can figure out why he was sent after you. You must have really gotten under somebody's skin. I haven't done anything to anyone. That means someone of your blood did it. Do you hear me? Ask your blood. Get lost. You're not exactly my favorite person right now. I guess there's nothing for me here. Was that the sound of a fuck-up? Like hell we should. You! Stop! Papers, please. I'd hoped it wouldn't come to this. Don't even think of reaching for your magic book. Fania's pistol has a very sensitive trigger. The second he moves, I'll blow his brains out, Chief. 
Chief, let's do our best not to have Vanya shoot you in the head. All right. All you have to do is tell us where Svetlana Petrovna is. I'm afraid uh, Svetlana is dead. Are you sure? She went down with a boat and didn't resurface. Lie! Victor, I'll be honest with you. That woman was a Gordian knot. I know that she spent years compiling all sorts of compromising material against the Tsar's government. She was a traitor. We were observing her, but she managed to get everything out of her apartment. I need to know if her knowledge could threaten the security of the nation. If you want something from me, you just need to ask. I have a better idea. I know where your papa's little black book is. Quid pro quo? I want to know who stole my father's grimoire. This time, you go first. As far as I know, all Svetlana's secrets went with her to the bottom of the Vistula. <sighs> Should we take him to the Citadel, Chief? No, Vanya. We'll finish this here. Why did you help Svetlana? Where's my father's grimoire? Look for it in uh, Stanislav's circle of old friends. Thaumaturges? Do you know who they are? Where I can find them? No. But, once you do, and watch out. They're very dangerous people. to get out of here. You're finally here. We've been waiting for you. I'm afraid I was boring your charming sister with my chatter. Oh, nonsense. I'll leave you two alone. You look tired. Is everything all right? Do you need my help? This has been an especially difficult night for me. Is everything all right with Shetwana? Why do you ask? You two left without saying goodbye. Did something happen? I'm afraid Svetlana is dead. <sighs> I was afraid of this. How did it happen? I saw a golem. A golem? From Jewish legends? Is it a salutor? Yes, and it turned out to be a very real salutor. A material one. I didn't think that was even possible. And what does it have to do with Shvetwana? Did the golem kill her? You could say that. The golem sank her boat by collapsing the roof over the pier. Svetwana intended to live off of selling other people's secrets. Secrets can be deadly. Do you want to know what she shared with me? I'm intrigued. The question is, can you bear the burden that she also carried? I've really got a lot on my shoulders. My father's secrets, his lover's death, the Ochrana, and now a golem. 
I think I can bear this too, if it lets me get rid of the other problems. Hmm. Can you say which secret of Svetlana's you mean? She had a whole chest full of them. That wasn't in the chest. And now it's only in my memory. Will you tell me what this is about? Not here, no. Get some rest first. At our next meeting, at the Narizhinskys. It's safe there, for now. Will you ever let me in on the secret? For now, I don't want to risk it. I don't even want to talk about it here. That your sister can remain uninvolved. One more question. Might this golem cause you any trouble? I'm sure I'll find out soon. I think we need to have a word. How do you know people like this, Rasputin? I don't think I need to explain to you who I invite over. And I do think I have the right to know who to expect in my own home. First Nyejits, now a gloomy hermit. And ladies of the night have started hanging around outside the windows. Are they also friends of yours? Who are those women? Horace Victor, prostitutes. Women of easy virtue, daughters of... I've been seeing two girls around here recently. They stand out on the street and peek into our windows. Maybe Abaurus is playing a prank. This can wait. Ligia, I'm really dead on my feet, but... I wonder what I don't know yet. Was there anyone who very openly disliked father? More than you? Touché. Hm. Did he know some sort of thaumaturge who might have been out for revenge, or... Did he mention a coterie to you at any point? Did he meet up with other thaumaturges? As far as close friends, I think you already know that's a dead end. And he never introduced a thaumaturge to me. Did you know that someone sent a golem after our family? A golem? <laughs> the kind from Jewish legends? This one was very real. It destroyed half the port while it was trying to kill me. Port Praga? Are you alright? What were you doing there? I helped Fitwana. She wanted to flee the country. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Do you know what forces you're playing with? You know full well who she is. Who she was. Sorry, what? Svetlana is dead. She was just setting off on her lovely voyage when a golem appeared and... Svetlana is dead. We're finished. They'll put us both in prison. Maybe your devoted secret police chief will reveal something. Perhaps you should ask him. What are you talking about? He got us into the soiree, so maybe he'll help us with this too. You're allegedly dead on your feet, Victor. You haven't experienced anything unusual recently? Nothing so remarkable. You think there's any way I'd have let a golem slip by me? How long have you known your chief? What does that matter? So you knew he worked for the Ohrana? Yes. You'd have found in the end anyway, but... And it's never occurred to you that an Ohrana chief might want to use you to get at your Thaumaturge brother. I thought the world didn't only revolve around you. Let's see what he demands in return for the invitation to Svetlana's soiree. Which, may I remind you, you very much insisted upon. I know who he is, and I treat him very cautiously. Besides, it was Papa who introduced him to me all those years ago. What's the real reason we're talking about him for the second time this evening? Did Konechkin know our father long? Ever since you left to live with Mother in Paris. 
Maybe there's no point in dwelling on the past. I saw him once more, at Port Praga. And what was he doing there? Does he have anything to do with the Golem? Was he there because of the lady-in-waiting you were the last one to see before she died? Theoretically. No, I've had enough. Don't say another word. Why are my cigarettes? Himself. Blind fool. Well, what don't I see? Maybe you could give me an answer this time. What don't you know? We've been seeing one another more and more since you died. Ask me about something you don't know. Why is the Golem pursuing our blood? You've not just put me in danger, but Liga as well. Who did you hurt so much that the Golem was aiming to? Hold on. It succeeded, didn't it? That's what killed you. That's what made the building fall on you. Why did you let a rat like Konechkin into our home? Now he's dogging Liga and me. Were you working for him? Did you start informing on your customers for him? A fool's theory. Who inflicted this punishment on you? What for? And how the hell do I lift it? Everything I've done... Was with your children and mine. I've heard it all before. For our good, I know. Thanks a lot. I didn't ask you for anything. Certainly not for someone like Konechkin to cover for me. Are you finally going to say something? You've wasted your time. I left you all the answers. Where am I supposed to look for them? In the back grimoire, which I nearly got from you? In that case, where is it? Who was it? Your friends? Your coterie that you hid even from your lover? You possess everything I had. I have left you everything you need. Come back here! I'm not finished with you yet! Look who's up. Sleeping beauty. Have some coffee. In the morning, Grazenka brews it strong. All the revelations yesterday overwhelmed me a little. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my outburst. Forgive me for yesterday. Yes, I know the feeling. And I don't want to quarrel with you either. We'd be better off focusing on the obstacles ahead of us. I thought that, given our situation, your suggestion to talk to Konyechkin wasn't so bad after all. I suspect he'll offer us a deal with the devil. For now, I'm just thinking out loud. I thought about what you were saying yesterday. Those strange phenomena related to the Golem. 
Once, when I was taking a carriage to the store, the horse took fright. First it reared, then it started kicking, and after a moment it froze and dropped dead on the cobblestones. But it was already old. Could that have been the golem? Recently, there's nothing I've been more sure of. Does that mean we might be in danger? I don't know how long it took the golem to reach father. He only found me in Warsaw that one time. I don't know how he works. I can't believe father didn't know that either. There must be something in his office. Anything. Maybe. Is there any other way you could find out? I had a dream about father. Me too. Right after he died. First he insulted me. And then blood poured down his face. Mm. Very funny. Do you see him often in your dreams? I wouldn't wish it any more often. They're not ordinary dreams. They're very realistic visions. Why don't we focus on real life? I know that you're still sorting through things there, but I really have to visit our store in Miruf. I'm basically done, and I was planning to go there now after breakfast. Will you join me? I should look through all of Father's things in the store. All right, let's go. Not much has changed here. Just the sign. Or maybe the owner. That's right. Now it's your kingdom. I don't think queens dig through columns of numbers, exotic names, addresses and consignment notes. Or scold customers who don't know the difference between powdered skull and powdered mummy. Have you developed an interest in the family business? Father clearly didn't want me to have anything to do with the family business, did he? Mm -hmm. I have to take care of the inventory. What is this? The photograph, Victor. A marvelous invention. Father was very fond of them. Did you want something, or are you here to joke around? Mm, when was this picture taken? Who knows, a quarter century ago? You two look more and more alike. Don't scare me. The guy next to Father. That's Hayat, right? Yes, he's just younger, Victor. That's how photographs work, you know. They stop time and place. I can also see here that they were friends. But a year ago, that ended and they stopped working together. Yes, you mentioned it recently. It's a shame Papa never said why. Could Hayat have wanted our father to die? Could he have sent the golem after him? I think you'll have to ask him. I heard that he bought out one of the two rundown laundries here in Mirov. <sighs> You're welcome. Thank you. I'm taking another look around. Is that? Yes. I'll take a quick look around. Be careful. <laughs> On my way.
fate has brought us together again, Viktor Shulsky. Why do you bother King of the Tempermancers? I learn from my mistakes. Come on, I dare you! All right. To me... There is no shame in losing to a better man. The way tells me to find you again soon. You don't have any powers. What way? What are you talking about? Stop calling yourself a thaumaturge. But the title... I... I... Looks empty on the outside, but there's something inside, someone's intention. I have to find their meeting place. Synagoga Marzyków, Mirów.
That's him. The one with the book. You oozing carbuncle. You ain't had enough of Warsaw yet? So you're sticking your nose in on people here? You know what happens to fellas who sniff around where they ain't supposed to? Miruv, don't kid around with them. And who am I supposedly bothering? And you've wasted the chance to keep your mouth shut. We'll cure this posh boy of his nosiness, you can bet. Talking nonsense! Did you hear about Praga? I'm at the harbor getting fish, and half the wharf is in splinters. The More bodies than they usually fish out of the Vistula. Practically every day. They were only just writing about Povishle. But listen to this. They're saying it's some giant did it all. You sure? Maybe I can help. Recently I've taken an interest in one of those. Leave us alone. Did you wander in here by mistake? You got some dirty laundry that needs cleaning, Mr. Shulsky. You were curious how my father died. Beneath the ruins of a building in Shrudmieszcze. That's awful. How did it happen? I'm glad you're asking. A remarkable death, isn't it? Yes. Let's have a word about your conflict with my father. There was no such thing. I have warm feelings for the store, and his father as well. Why did you quit working for my father? It was a mutual decision. I know that you and my father parted ways in bad terms. What happened? We both had difficult personalities, but I still remember him fondly. You're not telling me everything. I don't have to explain myself to you, Mr. Sholsky. I'm leaving now, but I can tell this won't be the last time we meet. Farewell. Is there something else? Let's talk about your relationship with my father. A tense relationship. Mr. Shulsky, I'll say it one more time. Stanislav and I didn't quarrel. Liar. Your anger still lingers around the photograph of my father. You're going to find it hard to hide anything from me. I'm not in the habit of speaking ill of the dead, Mr. Shulsky. Old grudges drove us apart. Not all stains are easy to remove. And might they give you a reason to seek revenge? A motive? I can't summon golems if that's what you're getting at. But you know there is such a possibility. 
Is that all? I need to get back to work. I'm leaving now, but... Fair... Hello. You said a month, two at most. I believed you. Then came the very first rain, and it was pouring in again. You... I can't sleep because I have to keep emptying buckets. It's leaking just as badly as it was before. Rabbi, when I said two months, you said there was one hole in the ceiling, but the whole building is in shambles here. I can do it. Quiet. You can seal up your daddy's barn with straw. The r So, let's go down to the basement. Oh no, definitely not there. There are a few things we have to sort out soon, Rabbi Sofer. You see, all I gotta do is mention these cellars and his name comes up. Would Hashem let a synagogue be haunted? Hey now, quiet. You're too late, I'm afraid. My name is Feldman. Rabbi Sofer departed this world almost a year ago. Forgive me, I have worldly matters to attend to. I can't leave without an answer. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. Back up. God helps those who help themselves. But maybe you're right, Rabbi. Maybe Hashem is afflicting us, setting a test for us. You heard the Goy talking about Sofer. The old man cursed this place, especially these cellars. So I'll go on my own, and show that Hashem protects me against curses in Hashem's domain. On your own. You can seal up your daddy's barn, right? Fine, let's go. You've gotten the better of me again, Hashem. Your tests still surprise me. But if this is your will, I think Hashem has sent you to me. Who are you? I'm a thaumaturge, Rabbi. And I really need help. Let's go into my office. Let's show Hashem we accept the challenge. Please, tell me what problem brought you here. Rabbi Sofer puts a curse on my father. Unfortunately, it started affecting his children as well. A curse is a serious accusation, you know. I find it hard to believe Sofer would do such a thing. Maybe, Rabbi, you could tell me something about golems. Son of Stanislav, golems are a matter of Kabbalah, and you are not allowed to study them. It's a trap for a soul. There are tales of golems being summoned for revenge, or in good faith, for protection. 
but they all end rather badly. And you claim that Sofer supposedly sent a golem? I don't know. Did the old rabbi perhaps leave some things here? May I take a look at them? Yes, here you are. All his books are here. I don't think I threw anything out. Is there anything else I can help you with? Rabbi, could you tell me something about Sofer? He was fair, but also difficult and very principled, like this city. But if he's the one who inflicted the curse, he must have been a powerful thaumaturge and Kabbalist. Who can summon a golem? Normally, it's determined by need. The Kabbalist rabbi summons the golem himself, but other Jewish people can also entreat him to do so. In legends, the golem is a terrible punishment and a tool for meting out divine justice. But I think it's an offense against Hashem, and revenge is no justice. How can I stop a golem? To summon it to life, you write the three Hebrew letters spelling MS, truth, on the clay that formed it. In an attempt to stop the monster, the heroes of these legends would erase the first letter from its clay body. That leaves mess, which means death. But I don't know how much truth is in that. Rabbi, could you help me understand something about Kabbalah? No. And I'll say no more on the subject. I fear for your soul. I'm afraid that I won't find anything more here. Thank you, Rabbi. Rabbi? I'm listening. Mordechai Chayat. Do you know that name, Rabbi? He owns one of the laundries here in Miruf. Maybe there are other things I could be of more help with. I found a prescription belonging to the old Rabbi. Was something troubling him? He had heart problems. The local pharmacist would even bring him some kind of special medicine. What was that pharmacist called? Abraham Horowitz. But now his pharmacy is sitting empty. Let me guess. He's dead? Unfortunately. Some say that the socialists were involved. Others claim it was the Ochrana's doing. Let's keep talking, if you need to. Rabbi, could you tell me? He was fair, but if he's the one... I have another question. I'm listening. I'll be off now. I'll pray for you. Mr. Shulsky again. Have a new theory. You didn't need the power to send the golem after my father. Old Sofer did it at your request. And do you know what for? You hated him when you quit working for him, and you still hate him. I wager you don't have a blind clue what you're talking about. 
I wouldn't dawdle in answering my questions. You heard what that monster did at the harbor. Imagine what it'll do to your laundry if I stay here any longer. Pride, hubris, and threats. You really are your father's son. You'll see how right you are if that golem hurts my sister. Enough. Come with me, please. Where? Into an alley? Where some friend of yours will smack me around? To the synagogue. Are you coming? Yes. Let's go. We'll stop to get Feltman. He should see this too. Under the roof is leaking if the foundation is crumbling. A lovely metaphor, Hashem. But what happened here had nothing to do with Hashem. Did it? Mr. Shulsky wished to know the origin of his curse. I wanted his father to suffer. Maybe I wished death on him. Revenge is no justice. It is always dictated by anger. But Sofer agreed to it. He summoned the golem. What else do you want to know? This place won't tell me any more. And what have you learned? The hole you can't miss over there is the new door the golem smashed when it was summoned to life. And no one saw anything. How is that possible? Is that your worry, Rabbi? The clay formed a shell that Sofer infused with the Salutor. Sofer told me to bring clay. Sticky and cold. I can't say how many of those buckets there were. I could feel the clay absorbing my anger, as if my rage was making it take shape on its own. Hours? That must have been horribly exhausting. What's a few hours in exchange for a curse that lasts generations? Mm. These are the remains of some fabric that Sofa wrote something on, in Hebrew, I think. This might be some prayer, incantation, even a spell. There's not enough left to read anything. That's all, but I'm not any closer to a solution. I need someone like Sofa. A thaumaturge and a Kabbalist? Do you know one, Rabbi? There's only one name that comes to mind, but... Ariel Rofe. A good-for-nothing, vengeful, godless scoundrel. Strong words from your lips. Of course. Do you know one another? You could say that. I'll track him down. There's just one thing I'd really like to know, Mr. Shulsky. Standing where you are now, what do you think about your father's responsibility in all of this? As I see it, the punishment you inflicted on my father is out of proportion to his guilt. Meaning? Neither my sister nor I had anything to do with our father's decisions. Justice would be if everyone paid the price for their own actions. How much anger must a person hold inside to do something like this? Who are you or Sofer to decide who deserves what punishment? All right, I think it's time for us to go. This place just makes the blood boil. Let's get Mr. Shulsky away from here and stop by tomorrow. 
We'll have some tea and work through a few questions. Mr. Shulsky, I would like this to be our farewell. I tell you from my heart, anger and pride are poor advisors. I know that firsthand, but it's too late for me. You can still save yourself. Shall we? Let's get out of here.